Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Saka here and welcome back to another episode of Surviving Mars and when we last left off we were going through a dust storm but there's only three hours left. Uh, I believe because of the dust storm and this rocket couldn't take off it didn't automatically queue that's what I'm, I'm thinking but our next exposition will actually involve our RC Explorer here or I mean our RC transport so that's all well and good. Uh, he's ready to go and I think as soon as this dust storm blows over uh, we'll be able to load him up and uh, see what's out there. I'll have plenty of fuel to refill the rocket uh, as soon as it comes back whether that be for you know personnel transport or the botanist might be able to load on up and do the next anomaly. We're running a little bit low on machine parts however. Uh, we're making 1.9 per day and we've got seven left. Uh, and I, I'm sure a lot of these, let's see, what about these guys? 0.5 machine parts per. So we can improve 14 or, you know, touch up on 14 of our um, uh, power generators here, the wind turbines. That, that's, that's a word. Um, so that's all well and good. Still working on technology. I'm waiting for that um, drone transport to, to fly. Uh, you know, if we could get the remote uh, drone over to our towers, you know, then the, the shuttles would pick them up and give them all the things they need and we wouldn't need to do um, carrying with our RC transport. So that is on the agenda as well. Everything should be happy and healthy here though. Um, this episode, I kind of also want to build a little bit more as far as um, this dome is concerned, fill it out, maybe get those smart homes in here and get people moved in that work over here. Uh, these three uh, engineers, these five medics, and maybe even the diner lady. Let's just call her Flo. Uh, what's her name? Dolores. She's an alcoholic, but she's not working in her home dome. Um, that will go away whenever we... Oh! Okay, so our transport is away. Rocket is taking off, heading to the Great Unknown on that expedition. Uh, we should get that rocket back, I think, in 12 hours was the count. And then as soon as it comes back, we'll load him uh, up here on the docking bay, refill him up with fuel, and see if another expedition is available. All right, we've got people up and about. I believe third shift is about to kick on off. And I kind of wish we had a ramp that could go over this uh, pedestrian walkway so that the drones didn't have to go all the way around. If we build a dome out here where the science is pristine um, and we connect up the domes all the way down through here, then I'll definitely make some uh, ramps along the way. Where are you going, good sir? Going to pick up metal. I mean, there's more efficient ways to do that. It's not like we have a whole chunk of metal right here. Flying to a planetary anomaly. Sector scanned. Sweet. All right, so we found some metal and some underground metals there. Uh, still working on this stuff, getting a pretty good boost here, not the best, 70%. Uh, we were gonna work on building a tower out here. Um, we got one right there, uh, but the next tower is right here, and we were going to, well, we could deliver one metal. Yeah, it takes one metal and one electronic part. That's pretty far away from a drone commander, though. And I don't want to waste my drone hub uh, building something out there. Uh, to service this next dome out here, I think our next uh, hub could be, say, I don't know if, like, say, out here. That way, if we build a dome to collect these underground metals. But, I mean, we're not hurting for metals anytime soon. Um, it would be ideal to get an, a dome down here so we can start harvesting these rare metals and maybe even... Uh, this water line, a bunch of rare metals in the center here. Uh, this would be a pretty good spot for a dome. So a drone hub would be uh, really good down here. That way we could get uh, the concrete, the water, uh, all the waste rock, and all that good stuff. So that is uh, coming in the future. What is this? This was a comfort boost, 10. Comfort would be nice, uh, but it would be too far away from anything that would do us any good unless we research the underground the, the super uh, deep ores and metals and whatnot. Let's see. 
Yeah, oxygen should be refilling, yep, yeah, at 0.6. So now that everything is working and we're producing oxygen from our moxie again, everything is awesome. Full water tanks, can't beat that with a stick. Uh, so fuel production should be at an all-time high. Yeah, once all these oxygen tanks fill back up, we'll be all set for oxygen. I don't know if there is an equivalent for oxygen like there is for power. Uh, this atomic accumulator is pretty, pretty awesome indeed. So if there was a way we could store 2,000 oxygen, I mean, that would be really impressive indeed. Yeah, we've got a bunch of drones just hanging out. Um, I don't see any waste rock not going into the waste rock storage. So that's all well and good. Let's see, I don't know exactly how much concrete we've got. Uh, we don't need to amplify it with any polymer. We have more than enough concrete um, to last. And another 40 concrete, we're gonna have to lay another one uh, right here anyway. So we're good as far as concrete and domes are concerned. Uh, as soon as this smart house is uh, researched, let's see, I can't tell exactly how many that is. We're getting 400 per day. Uh, I don't know if that's one day's worth of research or not, uh, but we can take a look at the domes and see research what else. Complete. Anomaly analyzed. Holy crap. 4,000. So not only did we knock out the smart homes, but we also knocked out low-G fungi and we're a little bit away from Martian education. All right, so battery optimization might not be too bad. Um, rocket cargo space, we haven't done too much. Uh, probes are cheaper and can deep scan would be okay. More applicants to appear on Earth. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, earn 500 million in funding, license Martians technologies. That's not all bad. Um, but I kind of want to keep going down the robotics tree. Although water reclamation for the spire dram dramatically reduces the water usage in the dome. We'll take that as well. So we'll do that first, then live from Mars and uh, see where we fit. So that's why it's very good for you to have many uh, researches queued up. Let's see, drone assembler. Drone prefabs. We might need to build us uh, some extra uh, extra drones, so that's all well and good. Hopefully we find some more anomalies down here. Our uh, RC Explorer is ready to go and ready to pick up those anomalies if need be. Yeah, we'll just move him by this crater. That way he doesn't have that far to drive to the next anomaly. Nice. So, smart homes. Uh, we can go ahead and build those now that we know what they are, and we can actually move the people that work over here inside this dome. Outstanding. So, the smart home. Five and two. And it is uh, just a small little guy. Let's cram them right there. Smart homes. I don't know how many people can fit in the smart home, but let's get the drones to work here. It is within the range of that uh, drone hub. So these drones will start to get to work. We can officially move in the people that work here uh, as their place of residence and improve their job performance. So that is very nice. Especially with these electronics parts, we need um, their performance to really boost here. Store rare metals. So yep, rare metals are Building up, we've got 14 out of 30. We want to keep some on hand, though, because uh, we want to build some electronics out of them instead of ship them back to Earth. And we've got that 500 million in funding coming up once we research that. Uh, so that should be all well and good. All right, smart homes. Both electronics parts, we only need two more concrete. And then these guys can get to work building that. We'll reassign the people that live here or work here to live here and then they can actually regain some sanity and move them out of the apartments where I'm sure it is a very uh, claustrophobic environment where was that guy going he's like bouncing all over the place like hey I've got an electronic part I don't know what to do with it 
All right, as soon as construction is done, we'll move everyone in. Hopefully we have enough space for everybody. All right, there we go. Smart homes for residences. So let's move our medics in this. Set the residence. Set the residence. Uh, let's also move two of our engineers to live here. And that'll be a nice comfy place for them to live. We might actually work on another smart home as well. I mean, we're kind of running a little low on electronics, but hopefully um, them getting boosted. Wrong specialization, no specialization. Well, no specialization's okay. Yeah, we need more engineers. So that's why we're not getting Sector a whole scan. lot of electronic parts. Rocket is back, let's go ahead and land it. We've got Martian education done so we can build a Martian university, but we don't have to worry about that until, well, I mean, we can start specializing. In fact, those no specializations can be trained. Yes, yes, indeed. 15 electronic parts, though. Dang. Uh, so we're not going to be making that anytime soon. Uh, but once this rocket gets back, if there is no um, uh, anomalies to search for, well, shoot. I mean, we might as well just send a rocket. Cargo rocket, and we need electronics. We need a lot. Uh, 250 million for 25 electronics. Probably wouldn't hurt to get some machine parts as well. All right, launch it. It pretty much broke the bank. But we do need that to, to survive. If we, can, if we can get specialized engineers working here, uh, that's all well and good. All right, unloading the RC transport. He hopped out with some gusto. All right, waiting to refuel. If we send him on an expedition, an RC transport again. Durable, durable polymers. Any seven people and seven scientists. That's rough, but we can send an expedition. So it'll only need 15 fuel and the RC transport again. So we'll keep our RC transport nearby. Our drones are going to work loading this guy up with the 15 fuel. As soon as the fuel is on, uh, this guy can hop on over. Yeah, plenty of fuel. We'll get that guy uh, refilled in no time. So the rocket is coming with our machine parts and our machine parts or electronics and machine parts. We're doing okay as far as machine parts go. We just use a lot of them. How is the food? Yeah, well, we should be making some decent food here. Yeah, everyone load up on fuel, please. Nice. Oxygen tanks filling slowly but surely. We might actually need another Moxie to help boost that. Uh, but so far, we're okay. If we were to build another Moxie. Let's see. Moxie, Moxie, Moxie. Life support. It just requires metal. We'll put it right there. That way, we can be sure to refill our oxygen. If we ever run into a bad situation where we're running low on oxygen and we need it to be refilled, then the, the, the extra Moxie would do wonders. All right, take off in progress. Everyone clear the rocket, please. I'm not exactly sure what we brought back from that, but maybe researching these anomalies on the planet uh, will bring back stuff. Hopefully electronics and machine parts. Certainly couldn't hurt. Nice, so that one is down and away. We've got four people living in this dome including the medics working all three shifts 0.7 electronics per day and the diners serve 28 people so far none inside now because of the stop work shift but everything is awesome 
Grocery store is open in first shift as well. Space bar. I'm sure a lot of people are heading to the space bar. And our botanists are hard at work on the farm. All right, so water reclamation going up slowly but surely. 446 from research buildings, 300 from the sponsor. That's a lot for uh, for science. Maybe that's what did it. But we are running low on money, so we need to get uh, some of these rare metals back to Earth if we can. 20 out of 30 rare metals. We can load them all up. I don't think the electronics factory is going to use a whole awful lot. It looks like they've only used a half of the rare metal. And we're producing rare metals each day. 5.6 rare metals per day. So, yeah, we'll, we have enough to, to ship back home. That is for sure. Uh, and get some of our money back. 250 million isn't much. Uh, though, let's see, the one-time funding... Let's see, lowers the risk of colonists developing flaws after a sanity breakdown would be good. Let's go ahead and research the Martian patents. And then we'll just hold off on that. Maybe robotics and storages? Keep that queue full. Uh, that way, if there's a, you know, a planetary anomaly that gives us a lot of science, we will be ready to accept it. Yeah, the concrete still flows like crazy. How's our moxie? Is it up and running? Yes, it is. Producing at 1.1. That's a little better. And then we'll go ahead and store all that oxygen up and be good. All right, so they are flying to the planetary anomaly. They are flying to Mars. So I think the planetary anomaly will have a quicker turnaround for sure uh, than the uh, cargo rocket will. We might run into a situation where um, a rocket is on the pad when they get there. But we should have enough fuel. 29 out of 30. Yeah, we have more than enough fuel to get it a uh, quick turnaround. And since there aren't any people on this cargo rocket, we can keep it in orbit until that one rocket leaves. If there are no other planetary anomalies we can go do. Uh, I'm not about to sacrifice seven whole people, especially... Um, maybe the botanists, because they're working on the food, you know, that will still tick off after they leave. Um, but as far as just seven randoms, you know, that could hurt our production quite a lot. Unless we just, like, turn off the space bar, we turn off the diner, and just send the unskilled workers, uh, out that way. It's something to think about, but not something I think I'm going to do right now. So we're working on Project Revere. Don't know the expedition time yet. And how close are we on this one? 67% with 179 boosts, 172 boosts. And then we get into the realm where we're not getting that much of a boost. We do get a little bit here as we work around the bottom. But I definitely want some more anomalies. <clears throat> Inactive work shift. Yes, I know. Running the diner 24-7 would be like a Denny's. But for crying out loud, no one should be subjected to that. Yeah, the smart homes using up 0.2 electronics for repair isn't bad in the grand scheme of things. And to help them boost their comfort, Anomaly even better. Analyzed. So we gained 36 polymer. And we're on the way back. Nice. We have more than enough polymer. Um, are we even running a polymer factory? I think we are. Yeah, right there. Engineers. So since we have more than enough, and those are engineers, let us turn off the polymer factory. We don't need 2.8 polymers. No shift. You all will now work in the... Electronics factory. Hopefully. We're going to enforce the specialists. The engineers should move over. One unemployed. No specialization unemployed. 
Uh, you can work second shift at the diner. All right, engineers. Those are geologists. Yeah, all the engineers came over this here to make five Operator machine parts. I want you to work in the right electronics the factory. Let's see, which engineers are here? No specializations in our medics. Another smart home wouldn't be bad, and then moving our engineers over here would be okay. Let's see, engineers at the electronics factory, engineer, electronics factory, engineer, electronics factory, electronics factory, electronics factory. Oh, those are the three electronics factory workers. We need to find machine parts. Engineer at the machine parts is fine. Let's go ahead and move one other worker. Well, that was the lazy worker, wasn't it? So you're, in a, you're a workaholic. We need you working in the electronics factory, please. So three there. Scanned. Anomaly found. Nice, an anomaly. Let's go ahead and get our RC Explorer down here. So not too far away from our driving. So hopefully that anomaly will... It's a key, so it unlocks new technology. Hopefully it's that freaking shuttle. That's what I want to see. A lot of concrete here in polymer. Low food, it says. But I find that hard to believe. Um, we had plenty of food out here. Yeah, we, we've got 11 food, and it might be judging by our population, but we're about to get another uh, harvest in a few days' time. So the food situation, I am not too concerned with. All right, so they'll be making one machine part. We'll go ahead and load this rocket. Unload our RC transport. And then see if there's any other rockets uh, that we can send to the planet. If not, then we'll go ahead, refill it up with the uh, 30 fuel and get all of those rare metals on board and get some of our money back. Uh, because I believe the electronics factory has, yeah, 4.4 of its metals. <clears throat> Where did the engineers go? I tell you what. You all better stop it. You work over here. You work over here. I tell you where to work. You work it. All right, rocket has landed. Nice. RC transport away. And we have just one, huh? Seven of any crew, seven scientists, five of the botanists. Huh. I think we're okay. We'll send an exposi expedition there. Oh, yeah. Send the one that's refueling. Alright, so the botanist may get a call. So all the botanists are going to leave just for a few hours time. That's fine. So we'll be able to give that a quick turnaround. Now one thing that might occur, I don't know if the botanist can actually walk here now that the dome is sort of blocked by this passageway and they're gonna have to run all the way over here oh man look at all that polymer being unloaded that is nuts all right drones go to work yeah they're bringing all of that fuel now so finally the drone hub has something to do all the robots are going to load up the fuel <clears throat> we're going to send it on the expedition and we'll see if the botanists then say, okay, it's time for us to load up. Because I think we can send, we can afford to send the botanists on a mission for a few hours' time. We have our rocket in orbit ready to land. That's the one that we're going to send back to Earth with all of our rare metals. 
So we'll refill up this rocket as much as we can. Only five more fuel. They're unloading 14 more polymers. Yeah, that is a lot of drone activity. Yeah, a heavy load on the drones, you're telling me. All right, so since we don't need our RC transport anymore for expeditions and whatnot. Oh, that's a big rock. I was going to say, is that metal? All right, any metals left here? Yes, indeed. Gather those up, please. We'll bring some metals back. One polymer, five botanists, and I think they just teleported. <clears throat> yeah, take off in progress. That's good. That is good indeed. So when they get back, their jobs will be there waiting for them. Anomaly analyzed. New techs are There's available more for to research. The barren environs of the red <clears throat> planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. So we've got microgravity medicine and utility crops. Microgravity medicine. A larger capacity is more effective than the infirmary. And we also have utility crops. Unlock new crops that provide oxygen and improve soil quality. All right, so we'll take that. And then we'll work on drone printing. Then the live from Mars, then the extra moolah. <clears throat> All right, so that rocket is gonna take off as soon as it is down and away. We will land our other rocket here on the pad. And then, because the botanists warp to the rocket, I hope they warp back to the dome. But I don't know if they will or not. Yes, I know the farm isn't working. But that's just because... Our botanists are away. Alright, come on, rocket. Clear the landing pad, please. Just for, just for giggles, I might land the other rocket over here. Uh, that way they can run straight in just in case. I don't think they'll be unloading anything. So that's fine. There we go. Now the rocket is away. This rocket is landing with all of our goodies on it. Our electronics and machine parts. Good. You all are continuing to work. I like that. All right, clear the way, rover. You're going to get landed on. Yep, one building not working. We won't lose the whole harvest. They won't be gone for too awful long. It's not like we sent them uh, back to Earth. All right, rocket. Go ahead and land. We've got our four people here. Our medics that live and work in the dome. All right, rocket coming in for a landing. He, it should be a quick turnaround on fuel, and we will make sure to turn on exports. So exports are allowed, so the drones are getting ready to get busy. 30 fuel, 30 rare metals, and getting off the 25 electronics and machine parts. So that is all well and good. Nice, our RC transport has just picked up its last metal. Go ahead and gather down here, please. And everything is working well. The drones are now in high gear. And we will grab all of the uh, rare metals. So everything that's on that pad now, we are going to grab for sure. Yeah, we need our botanist back. And then I don't know what uh, what crops are going to be there, but as soon as we research them, that'll be pretty good. That's right, all the robots working. We need to get all the fuel on this as well as all of the rare metals, please. They're doing a pretty good job of unloading everything fairly quickly. Good thing we do have all that extra fuel. And then we'll send this back to Earth as soon as we can. Get that money back. And then we'll be able to afford to send more rockets our way. 
All right, so they are heading to the anomaly. Yep. Yeah, I know there's a drone heavy load. It should be. But as soon as all the, the stuff is unloaded, then they can spend their whole focus on loading the rocket up, grabbing all the fuel. There's 15 more where that came from. So it's a good thing we've been stockpiling the fuel for sure. These, uh, Break these two expeditions. Hull polarization. Domes require le maintenance less often. I like that. We'll go ahead and research that one. Hull polarization then. Let's just go with the 500 first. Polarize the hull plating. Good old Enterprise. All right, so the last few electronics are getting unloaded. The last bit of fuel is getting loaded and we're not landing the rocket here. Uh, so we don't have to worry about clearing the launch pad. And we'll, we'll, we'll be loading up some decent uh, rare metals. That is for sure. We still have um, 13 rare metals to grab. So we are going to grab this, uh, grab as much as we can here. Just three electronics to offload. Yeah, everyone's grabbing fuel. Everyone's grabbing rare metals. And it should be only a matter of time until that rocket gets uh, fueled up. I don't know how many is here in the fuel dump. I don't see any staying there. So I imagine the fuel that's coming right out of that fuel dump is um, getting loaded. And since Sector we have two, all of this anomaly. extra storage, nice and anomaly. Go ahead and scan that one, please. Hopefully that's freaking the, uh, the shuttles. That's what I really need. I would put that at the top of the list, guaranteed. I'm surprised, I'm honestly surprised we haven't unlocked it yet. 29 out of 30 fuel, 16 out of 30 rare metals. So we're just waiting on one more fuel. So in the meantime, all of our drones can grab as many rare metals as they can. And then once we get that uh, 30th fuel, we'll go ahead and take it off. And I'm still a little bit paranoid about the, the pop-in whether or not they're going to teleport back to their dome or not, or are they going to run? That's the question. So why is there 2.5 electronics on this rocket? Unload it, please. All right, 20 out of 30, that leaves us some rare metals. Let's uh, go ahead and launch. Head back to Earth. Okay. The remaining resources on board will be lost, so we need to get the 2.5 electronics off of this thing. And they're pretty precious. Clear the pad, please. So as those 2.5 electronics are unloaded, hopefully unloaded, I mean this drone ain't doing a whole awful lot. I may just have to launch anyway. Because I don't see anybody bringing the electronics off. It may be a bit bugged. It's waiting for resource unload, but we've got like idle drones not doing the unload. It did have zero. All right. You guys go ahead and land. And then you guys go ahead and, yeah. Go ahead and take off. Launch anyway. Clear the launch pad, please. We'll give up the 2.5 electronics and I don't know where that came from. Hopefully what happened is, or hopefully what didn't happen is since I was on an expedition, they may have found those electronic parts and then they were put on this rocket so the drones didn't 
the drones thought the rocket was empty. But that is all well and good. Tomorrow the botanist will get back on the uh, on the crop. Or at least they should. Now let's see if my theory was correct. Are they going to run into the dome? Because the RC transport like teleported on the rocket, but they didn't teleport off. Yes, indeed. So here comes our five brave botanists and they should hop onto the farm quick, fast, and in a hurry. Let's just make sure that they find their way to the farm. Yep, one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Nice. New text are available. More to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So don't so long as bioscaping, you know general look. training, rover command, sterling generators, and sustainable architecture? And it is not the shuttle. Residences have improved comfort. That's actually pretty nice. We'll do improved comfort. Then we'll do the 500 million in funding. Uh, the in-dome buildings require less maintenance. Yep, that should be good. All right. You've picked up all of your metal, little guy. Let's go ahead and unload here, please. All right, so the drone should get to work loading this guy up with fuel. Um, I don't, yeah. Exports are forbidden, so we don't have to worry about that. Is there another expedition uh, that we can do? Project Excalibur and Project Rain. Nope. So we don't have to worry about sending a, an expedition. The, uh, the drones can do as they please. And I think we can make another fuel. Fuel refinery. Requires one power and one water. But if we do that, we can get even more fuel. Now this should be well within range of the drone commander. It just needs four concrete, four metals, and five machine parts. And then we can definitely improve the output of our fuel production for sure. I like it. And it's interesting how we've we've gained so many polymers. We don't even need to run this factory at all. We're still making one electronic per day. Coming to a new culture is quite a challenge. Over the years, awesome. I how I absorbed parts of the so this culture. looks like a pretty the good stopping place uh, for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Once this uh, fuel refinery gets built, uh, we'll be making more fuel kind of using more water. Uh, right and we have the water to spend, I believe. And the planet will um, developing according yeah, it's still not. Nature. It can produce six Next more steps. water if needed. Um, so it's uh, not producing any extra water. And quite frankly, it's not even sweating. So the extra fuel refinery here uh, will be well taken care of. For sure. Then our drones can work on bringing us a lot of fuel and we'll have a quick rocket turnaround. Which would be ideal. All right, there we, there we go. Fuel refinery is on. Makes 12 fuel per day, uses five power and one water. Yeah, we are well within range to do that. All right, you're unloading. Yeah, and you've got plenty of space. So that will do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen of Surviving Mars. Uh, our botanists are gonna be back on the job uh, harvesting these soybeans, and then they're going to get on to potatoes, and hopefully we can get a pretty good harvest out of this. So uh, next episode will be harvest time. But like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next Surviving Mars video. Take care.